Hi, this is Cooking Appa. <coughs> Today I'm going to demonstrate how to cook Xiong Tong Yin Choi. In English, it should be called a Chinese, Chinese spinach uh, with chicken stock. Okay. Oh, you want to heat up your wok? First thing first here, you'd want your uh, <coughs> try to keep the shape of your cloves of the garlic, okay? Because you want to stir fry them, make it char, Okay, we will stir fry in the, the garlic glove until it is char. Okay? We'll come back shortly. Very quickly, in less than one, two minutes, you start seeing the garlic become char outside. Now you can actually pop in the ginger. Okay? Give it a few stir, let the oil infuse with the ginger flavor. Now you can actually toss in the uh, chicken stock. You can also use a uh, pork broth, okay? It's up to you. Uh, I'm going to mix chicken stock with some extra hot water. Bring it to boil. For this particular dish, we won't be making too much seasoning. Maybe just a simple uh, salt and salt and uh, sugar and pepper because the flavor will actually come from here. Yeah, you have some chop, chop, century uh, egg and also salted egg. I'm using half of each. You can use one. You can use more. Okay, it's totally up to you. It's actually a very appetizing dish. Sometimes when you have no appetizing, don't know what to eat, you can actually try, try this because it is soupy, it comes with veggie and it's very flavorful. Okay, but of course you need to keep some uh, broth at home, then only you, it's better, uh, it's easier for you to cook this dish. So you, you can see now, you can see it is actually boiling. Now you can actually toss in the two types of egg. Remember, Appa doesn't use chicken stock, uh, chicken powder, and also Appa doesn't use uh, MSG. One of the best re replacement for MSG, you know what? It's actually the century egg. Sometimes, if you want, if you are cooking soup, you can actually put some century egg inside. Century egg is a very uh, good natural replacement for MSG. Really, it will actually make your 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 ingre uh, your dishes a lot more. Uh, uh, stronger flavor, uh, more flavorful. Okay, okay. It's boil for a while. Now you, you can actually put in the Chinese spinach. I think there's two or three types of Chinese spinach here. One type is actually the red color. You can also use that. Some will actually make some uh, make broth, make this particular broth using some ikan bilis. Okay, can also no problem. Seems like ikan bilis will actually give 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 it a very nice uh, 
very nice uh, seafood taste. Um, I don't, I'm not using ikan bilis today, I'm using chicken stock. But I can actually add some of my fish powder. Yeah, my homemade fish powder. Okay, my homemade fish powder, this is optional. You can cook this dish like in less than 10 minutes. And it is very, very flavorful. By the way, if you buy dark uh, salted egg, usually you need to cook it. Yeah, but century egg usually you don't have to cook it; it's already cooked. Look at the beautiful, nice, creamy color here. It's almost done. We let it simmer like now. Thirty seconds. It's almost there. Okay. Let's come and see what happened after one minute simmering. Very, very nice flavor. It's definitely already cooked. Let me have a taste. Oh, very flavorful. All we need here is just to do a bit of final seasoning. A pinch of salt. Followed by similar amount of sugar get off the fire it's already ready okay it's cooked and we can actually put some goji berry on top do you not realize you can actually eat goji berry uh, raw Eat it uh, as a, like a snack. It's much healthier than for you to eating uh, normal uh, man-made uh, snacks, tidbits. Okay, it's done. So if you like my video, do share my video out on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click above the like and follow button. You also go to YouTube channel to click the subscribe and notification button and to follow Appa's Instagram. Alright, thank you very much. Happy New Year to all. Bye-bye.